Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Spurverse. This is part one, a transfer special. I'm here with Craig and Emma. Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, back. Welcome back. First up, Wissam Ben Yedder. Toulouse striker, he's meant to be the next Jermaine Defoe. I, he's five foot seven, so pretty similar. Apparently he's got 13 goals in 22 games. Uh, we've supposedly bid 6.1 million for him, had it rejected, and they're asking for 7.5. What are your thoughts, Craig? Um, I'm excited to be linked with anyone that's a striker at this point. Yeah. I mean, we need cover. Like, I don't really... I mean, that's their decent stats. Everyone's been kind of touting the kid, but I just think we need someone. Yeah. We just need someone. Do you know much about him, Emma? Not huge amounts. I think what, what my concern overwhelmingly with him and with a lot of the strikers that we've been linked with is there's still guys that don't really have any Premier League experience and no kind of record of goal scoring in the Premier League. The problem that we've got is that we're trying to sign a striker who's going to be Harry Kane's backup. This guy is not coming in to start, which means we've already got to kind of knock ourselves down a level because most guys, when they sign in the January window, are going for match time. The problem that we have is that whoever's going to be backup for Harry Kane needs to be someone that doesn't need to be kind of like molly coddled along or like mm -hmm. introduced slowly. It needs to be someone who can come in, have an impact straight away, or God forbid, touch wood, if Harry was to get injured, someone who could just come in and do the job and not be scared. Yeah. And, or and you don't, you're not sure this is the guy because he's not played in the Prem. Yeah, a little bit. But I mean, I mean, I'm excited. I like the idea of him. I think, like Craig said, the stats are good, and he's certainly the sort of player I could imagine Poch would want to take on. Yeah. I just kind of feel that we don't really need a Poch kind of player for this second striker. We actually need someone who's got a bit. That's true. However, he he's not going to sign someone just for the rest of the season to get us forward because he's looking big picture, isn't he? There's no way he's it's not going to. It's tough. Yeah. It's a tough thing. It's a really tough thing because part of me thinks that actually we should sign someone for the rest of the season because to me, you, you almost never get somebody brilliant in January anyway. The January window is for players moving who A, are not getting game time or B, have fallen out of favour of their club for whatever reason. It's That's not... Awesome. Well, yeah, it's not for your kind of like big marquee signings that you're going to sign for a lot of money that you're buying for the long term. Say that Liverpool got Suarez in the January transfer window. Yeah, there's always going to be one exception to yeah. it, but you know, in general, doesn't help the link to Jackson Martinez yeah. <laughs> very much. Have I just wrecked um, this entire transfer <laughs> I'm really that, sorry. Given that we have apparently, I don't know how true this is. Um, apparently, Marsa, the Spanish media outlet that Marca. we all read every day. Yeah, yeah. Well, I say Marsa. <laughs> it's, it's different for people. Like um, <laughs> apparently we've bid, uh, we've bid, uh, Spanish France, apparently we've bid uh, 30 million euros for the guy. That's uh, a lot. 23 million quids, uh, Bicker, uh, and it's been rejected by Atletico Madrid, who don't want to give him to us for that much. Um, I'm not sure I uh, believe that. I'm not sure I believe that. I don't believe that we'd be bidding that much for a backup striker in this yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, neither do I. And, and to be honest, Jackson Martinez, I'm not even sure he's backup material. He's like no, a he's star. Like, he's I mean, if he came, him, him and Kane, I don't know if Kane would... I mean, I'm a huge Harry Kane fan, but Jackson Martinez is proven. Yeah. Champions League goal scorer, he's done it. He scored tons of goals for Porto. Yeah, the nine, thing is, 92 though, in 132 games. He's I mean, kind of old, though. I think he's, I think he's only 30 this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the only thing that you could kind of say, all right, you can sort of see it fitting in. Unless you're radically changing our formation that you know, none of us know about yet. I, I, I can't see that. Doesn't 23 like million a, from, from 30 months? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a very poch million, signing, does it? No, and 23 million January as well. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I'd take him though. I mean, if they're gonna flash the card, I'd take him. Seems like a Harry Redknapp signing to me. Nah, oh, come on down. Yeah, he's not way better than Louis Saha. That's exactly what I was thinking. You can't put him in the same bracket as Louis Saha. Come on. Well, I mean, Redknapp also <laughs> signed some good players. Yes, but we're talking January window, we're talking strikers. And Martinez is a baller. But spending it's, that much money on an money. old man. Well, that's right, man, 29 wow. is an old man. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, and finally, uh, all this Nabil Bentaleb chat. Have you heard any of this? So the Algerian news source, Le Buteur, did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, claimed that Bentaleb maybe isn't in Pochettino's plans anymore. And it's reported that we want to swap him for Jovetic. I don't believe for a second wow. that Bentaleb yeah. isn't in Poch's plans. I don't believe that, not for a minute. Not even on the evidence this season? I mean, he's been injured, but then he's been back for a while. He's didn't, not didn't he apparently have a bust-up, a little argument? Yeah, w w there was there was talk of him having some sort of bust-up with the fact that he went on international duty and got injured and Poch supposedly didn't want him to, but Poch did say he could go and then just said he was, it was, he was disappointed he got that injury. So I think yeah. that's just uh, I think it's media. total rubbish. There's nothing, you know, everybody knows, we've talked about it a million times, Dyer and Ali have been the revelation in the centre this season. Yeah. That's not Bentaleb's fault, it's just the way that it's been. And he has been injured, same as yeah. Ryan Mason. Yeah. We still need backup in every position, and he's still playing. Admittedly, not as much as probably he would like Barely. to, but I can't... Yeah, but he's been injured a lot. This is not like, you know... Has he been good when he's played this season? He's looked rusty. Mm. 
but I still don't mean. I still wearing don't shorts too high, can't be Scott Parker. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I still don't think it doesn't mean he looks terrible. Yeah. I disagree. Fair enough. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. Either, Rubbish. Really. Well, you know what? His agent also says that he won't go in January. Um, and you know how honest and truthful agents are. Always are. tell the <laughs> truth. <laughs> Uh, well, there you go. That means that two out of three of these are complete bollocks. So, uh, who knows? Let us know in the comments. Who knows? Uh, hashtag who knows. Uh, let us know in the comments if you think any of these are realistic. Would you take Ben Yedder? Have you seen much of him? I've seen a, a highlights clip on YouTube. He seems all right. Uh, Jackson Martinez, obviously we want him, but is he going to play second fiddle to Harry Kane? Probably not. And Ben Taleb, should we keep him at the club? Let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out part two of Spurverse. Hello, welcome to part two of Spurverse. I'm still here. It's the same gang, the first team.